Hi, thanks again for joining me on the Guru Brew. We're continuing our PHP tutorials. Today we are in lesson number five and we will be discussing the GET statement. The GET statement is also related to the POST statement and we will be discussing both. Today we will concentrate mostly on the GET statement though. This is the point in our classes when we begin to bridge HTML with PHP so we can do some interesting things. Today we will be making a simple form in HTML and then passing the data to a PHP page to report the HTML form findings. So let's get started. As usual we're on my desktop of the computer and I am going to do things a little bit differently this time. I've already prepared uh, a page and we're just going to review the code and I will show you uh, what each line does. Before I do that I would like to do things a little backwards and show you the form and then show you what it does and then how to uh, make it do what we are showing. So. Um, the first part of this HTML form consists of a, a query of two questions. There's name and color and a submit button. Um, even though this is a PHP class, I am going to go through some of the HTML commands with you because I cannot simply just teach PHP without going through these commands. So if I was to type in my name and then type in a color such as blue, hit the submit button or just hit enter. The PHP script um, repeats my name and then the color that I have chosen. So what was involved in making this script happen? Let's take a look. This is Notepad++. If you've watched my other tutorials, you know by now how I write the scripts. If you missed that part, I will put a link to the um, entire series and you can start with one and then go forward till you reach five. As I said before, this script consists of two different scripts. The first one is written in HTML, which is here. It asks for the user's name as well as the color and it provides a submit button. We'll go over that in just a minute. And then the second part of this code is the PHP code. And uh, here it is here. And it takes the two uh, pieces of information, the name and the color, and then it prints it to the screen. So first let's discuss the get HTML. Uh, with all HTML pages, just like PHP uh, pages, you should open with the uh, HTML command that tells the interpreter that we are sending HTML to the, the browser. Um, we like to give it a head, uh, and a, inside the head is a title. We just call this get PHP test. It can be called anything you like. And then we close the head, and then we open the body. And we do that with these tags in between the greater and less than sign. Um, we create a form, and the form name gets mentioned right here. Now this get.php, this will become the name of this PHP form. So make sure that that matches up. Uh, this is called get.php, so within this um, action, you want to be sure that it is also called the same name. And then the method is get. Now it could also be post here, and we will discuss post in the next lesson, but this will be get. And then you can name your form for other uses. You could call it Bob if you want. It doesn't really matter. I just called my form form. And then these are the two pieces of information that were asking our users. The first uh, piece of information that we're going to ask them is their name. 
I've set aside 20 characters or less for that. I'm expecting text and I will call that variable name. And this is very important that you remember what you called the input. If you notice, it's a lowercase name. What will be displayed on the screen is the uppercase. Let me go back to that real quick so you can see. See how this has the uppercase on it. So um, if I was to call it um, um, your name here, save, go back and refresh our form. See, it just simply changes the name up there. So I'm going to put the, the name back to what I had before. I just wanted to show you that this prints um, to the screen and this actually uh, stores the variable name here. The second piece of information that we're asking for in our HTML page is color. Um, so if you look here, I've asked for color and then I've stored it as the variable name color. Now HTML's uh, code does not require the money sign like PHP does. Um, it's just called name and that will be the variable which is color. And then the last piece of information, I've put the submit button down here and I've called it submit. And again, I'm not teaching HTML. If you have any other questions about HTML, you can Google HTML for beginners and go to the forum section and they will teach you a lot more than I can provide here. But I am just giving you the basics so you can get started uh, sending um, variables to PHP. So this is our HTML form. I am calling it get.html. I'm saving it on the web server and this is a copy of that here. Now the second part of our code is the PHP side. That is this here and as always we start our PHP with a tag that looks like this and then we put our comments here and here. Again you can do this any way you want. I like to name it I like to own it and I like to date it and revise it. Um, this is also a comment and sometimes I like to use stars. I think it breaks it up better and makes it look better. Now if you notice on line 7 here I have a variable and I'm calling it a string name and this get, this um, get statement right here gets the name from our HTML form which is here. So if I call this name one right here I also have to name it name one here if that makes sense. And then I'm also getting the color here and I'm assigning it color here. So again if I call it color uh, two here I also have to name it color two here and um, I'm assigning uh, string color to color two. Um, once I've got the variables from the HTML form, I'm just simply printing them here in this manner that will allow it to make sense to the end user. So I'm printing string name from here and then I'm putting a space and then I'm printing the color you selected is and then I'm jumping down one line and I'm saying string color which is here and then I'm exiting the, the program so the um, finished project is here so if I put Bob and I put green and I hit it it says Bob the color you selected is green and if you notice, this is uh, jumped down a line. And the reason why that is, is because 
uh, that's what we told it to do right here with this BR statement. If we take that out and we save. So before I run my script, I'm going to put my, my script back the way I had it so that I don't throw any errors. And I'm going to take out these numbers. Save. So it says now, Bob, the color you selected is green. Now, if you notice, there's no space in here. I have to go in to my um, my code here, and I have to add that space, which would be right here. So it can allow for Bob, the color you selected is. Just like I have a space here for the word green. Save. Reload. So there it is, Bob, the color you selected is green. So I hope this makes sense to you. Um, it's very simple. I would like to recap one more time about what we did. Um, inside the HTML portion of this code, we have just written a simple HTML page with the title and the head and the body. Uh, we put a form inside the body that is called uh, form and our method of posting is get and like I said the two methods could be either get or post in this particular instance we're using get we'll talk about post next week it's very similar to this uh, the action is the page that we are sending the HTML uh, variables to and we call this get.php and then we've um, set ourselves up with a name and a color uh, to assign uh, name and color to for the users to put in and then we popped up a submit button now if you look here at the uh, to the submit button here it says submit inside the button if we were able if we put in the value of um, press here and we save that and we reload now the button says press here so that's all that does there and then the value of the button and the type or submit um, inside our PHP code we start out with our normal PHP tag and then we uh, assign some comments here so we know what we're doing and then we assign string name to our get that we get through post or I'm sorry that we get through the get statement the name and the color and then we just print those variables so I hope this makes sense to you again um, the get statement is used mostly for passing small amounts of data right through the URL and if you noticed up in the URL there's usually a question mark with the variables that come through with it the post is used more for a secure environment and it's unlimited in its um, amount of data that can be um, passed through the HTML code so play with this and um, if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments thanks for watching our videos please thumbs up and um, have yourself a good day we'll see you tomorrow Hey guys, this is Steve. Thanks for watching. Hey, don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment. See ya.